Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip about NOAA weather radios. Now, now I'm not talking about NOAA as in the biblical sense with the ark. I'm talking about NOAA as an NOAA, the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration. You, many of you probably know this, but if you didn't, the, the U.S. government has a series of radio stations scattered all over the U.S. and its territories that broadcast nothing but weather, what they call all hazards information. And usually when you tune into this, you get the local weather. There are seven different stations, and I'll list them up here, or seven different frequencies, I should say. And they are scattered all across the country. Most states have a couple, you know, about a dozen radio stations or so. Some have more, some have less, depending on the square footage of the state. And when you tune one in, you basically get the weather. Now, if you don't have a radio that can pick up these, this weather band, you might want to consider getting one. I don't have one here because I didn't bring it with me, but they also have desktop models that can sit on your desk or your kitchen counter or what have you. But these are the radios that I have that will pick up this weather band. And I'm just going to turn this one on so you can hear what it sounds like. Near five miles an hour. Tuesday, sunny, breezy. High in the upper 60s. South wind 5 to 10 miles an hour with gusts to around 20 miles an hour increasing to 10 to 20 miles an hour with gusts to around 30 miles an hour in the afternoon. So you can tell right there that that would be a valuable piece of information. It said Tuesday because today is Monday. So there immediately I'm getting tomorrow's forecast. Now they don't just do the weather. Uh, they'll give you the current conditions. They will give you the, the short-term forecast. They'll give you the long-term forecast. And it's not just weather like rain and snow and fog, but they'll also give you uh, natural disasters, hurricanes, tornadoes, tsunamis, man-made disasters such as chemical spills, things like that. They also are participating in Amber Alerts, and some places will let you even know if there's problems with 911 service. You know, some contractor got a little wild digging and pulled up a fiber optic line, and now 911 service is out for your area. They will let you know that. Now, it's not like your traditional radio service to where AM, FM, you turn it on, you got to listen to the national news, you got to listen to the local news, you got to listen to the sports and go through all the advertising. There is no advertising on these. That's the nice thing about it. But you have the weather, and you can concentrate on that. If you listen to a, some talk radio show and you're waiting for the weather, you kind of start tuning it out sometimes, and the next thing you know, they've given the weather, you just weren't paying attention. This is all weather. They give you the current conditions, the immediate forecast, the extended forecast. They will give you uh, the local forecast for nearby areas, you know, places that are you know, 20, 30, 40 miles away from you. So if you are hiking or traveling, you can get in on that weather forecast for another location that you're going to be at later in the day. I think this is a very great idea. It's, it's one of those things that the government has gotten right. And if you're wondering, NOAA is not a, a part of the Department of Interior, which manages the parks and everything. They are actually, I think, a division of the Department of Commerce because they understand how weather affects our commerce. I think that's where it originated from. Wednesday evening, there will be a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Periods of showers and scattered thunderstorms are expected Thursday into Friday morning. So if you don't have a radio that picks one of these up, I strongly urge you get one. This is one of the things that the government actually has gotten right, and they do a very good job of it. I can remember when it was actually a recorded human voice. They're, they're synthesized now, and it kind of irked me because... It just seems artificial, but still the data is there. It's not there to entertain you. It's to give you the information that you need to make decisions about what you're going to be doing. So if you've got an old AM, FM radio sitting around thinking that'll suffice for your bug-up bag, your get-home bag, or your emergency or prep or camping gear, you might want to consider upgrading to some sort of radio that will pick up these weather bands. It is definitely worth the money spending on a radio for whatever reason to be able to pick these up. And I'm surprised that the auto industry has not picked up on this and made it a standard issue in the vehicles. I just don't understand why they haven't done that. So the big three, if you're listening, there's an idea for you for free. Again, National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, weather band radios, definitely worth the money. Look into it. This is Backpack Hack. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share my videos. Be safe out there, and I'll see you out on the trail.